Hello everyone, welcome back to another update on my unit game. So, in the previous episode, I added officers and added collisions into my units. However, I felt that the collision avoidance system was a bit lacking. So what I decided to do was to scratch everything, delete everything, and rebuild the movement system from the ground up. I'll be using Godot's built-in navigation system. So in the beginning, I had a little bit of trouble with the system. Uh, all the units seem to walk to the right for some reason. I figured out that it was because of a navigation meshing and the area where the units are allowed to walk isn't correct. So yeah, they're kind of stuck there. So I messed around with the code to try to fix it and this ended up happening, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, they're going super insane mode over there. Uh, but yeah, after I got it to work, the end result looks something similar to this. So the units are doing a much better job at avoiding each other, but you can still see some collisions happening. So I refactored the old collision avoidance code, and now you see that they avoid collisions much, much better than the old system. It's not perfect, but you can see the square formation, uh, which was basically impossible in the old system, working pretty well. So my plan after this is to add in player control using um, simple RTS mechanics. However, that took a little bit longer than usual, so that probably would be in the next episode. In the meanwhile, this is what the battle scene looks like with the new system. I still haven't implemented the new combat mechanics just yet, so they're kind of just huddling around, but you can see them not being stuck to each other, which is very nice. And there you have it. That is the fourth update to my units game. I hope you guys are enjoying watching these. And in the next episode, I'll be working on improving the navigation system and adding unit control. Thanks for watching.